<clears throat> Welcome back, Warriors, with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2 and the 1% Club driving uh, to my next uh, appointment. <laughs> so I'm going to do another video since I'm sitting here, catch up with my list. A lot of my list is created from all you guys commenting and subscribing and um, uh, making a lot of giving feedback on different things and questions and things like that. So I want to catch up a little bit with things that uh, we need to do. So I'm parked, there's some construction going on here. So I'm gonna kind of talk while I'm uh, waiting for them to move. And there we go. So um, today's topic that we're gonna talk about in this video at least, is going to be the idea of having small meals. Now we're gonna focus on nutrition a little bit here and kind of talk about why is it important to have small meals. So let's kind of talk about this in terms of gluttony. Gluttony is once again, and going back to some of the talk with the Roman Empire and all the falls of society that we've seen in the past, and you don't want to repeat those, and this is why we talk about these. And one of those is gluttony. Doing too much of something and eating is a, is a perfect example of that. Now, why is it important to have small meals? Well, it is important not only from a digestive standpoint, but it's also important in the sense of what happens to your brain. And so let's talk about this a little bit here. So first of all, when we look at the way things should be, and I'm going to make a turn here and keep talking a little bit here, we are not designed to have five course meals every meal during the day. And we're not designed to be able to digest food that quickly. And if you're just digesting food that quickly, you're also not then going ahead and uh, focusing on your inner voice, I would call God, and having time to meditate, to pray, and to avoid a lot of those temptations. Food is one of those things, gang, that can be a tempting thing. Just like any other side of addiction you could have. You could have an addiction to gambling. You could have an addiction to, to sex. You could have an addiction to drugs. You can also have addiction to food. And a lot of people need that oral fixation. They put something in their mouth, and, and food can be something that satisfies that. You could have a sugar addiction. You could have a caffeine addiction. All these type of addictions people have when they're having too much of something and it's not really helping them be able to become the best person and it hurts them in certain things they do. So we talk about having control again and I go back to this all the time because this is one of those things that I think is the most important lesson to be learned on this whole channel and that's really the, mad, the mastery of yourself. You're able to master yourself. And certainly, I think, you know, putting yourself in positions over the years where you have goals, you write things down, you're disciplined, that's a good start, right? You're sticking to a pattern. And exercise is a good example of that, right? You have a pattern that you're going to weight lift and do these exercises three times, twice a week, right? You're going to do cardio once or twice a week. Right, you're gonna walk, you know, those a you know, couple times. You have everything kind of planned out, and then you try to follow that plan. Well, let's look at eating, is another big part of the physical shape that you're in. And we have, as we know, so many foods out there that can hurt you high amounts of sugar, right? High amounts of carbs, high amounts of caffeine, high amounts of sodium. All these type of things, and over the years, there's more preservatives in foods that we had before, right? There's more flavoring. All these type of things are unnatural things to put in your body. And I guess one of the things that I've come to become more aware of over time is to become natural. To my mind, you don't need a lot of the pills and medicines you have. In my mind, you don't need a lot of the types of foods that we eat. We need to go back to some basic type of things to be able to nourish our bodies and we don't need food all the time, which starts getting back to our topic a little bit here. Um, I do a lot of intermittent fasting. Now, sometimes I will fast for a day or two, 
uh, or at least a week. At one time, I actually fasted 40 days, but I do intermittent fasting, which means that I start at, uh, I take meals, and I eat from 12 o'clock at noon to 8 o'clock at night, and then from 8 o'clock up until noon the next day, I, I, I fast, so I don't have anything. So the reason I do that is because one of the, the reasons I had gotten, and I had gotten heavier before, I had bloating at one time, and in my 20s and 30s, I did gain some weight after I played football. And once again, your metabolism slows down a little bit, but you're eating the same amount of food, but you're exercising a lot less when you're not playing football or any kind of exercise, especially in college. So because of that, I gained weight in my middle 20s, early 30s. And one of the things that I figured out over the years when I started doing that Fountain of Youth uh, book and the exercises was the whole idea of trying to eat eat smaller meals, but try to eat meals at a certain part of the day. They always say that you have to be like a king at eat like a king at breakfast, a queen at lunch, and then eat a like a pauper at uh, which is someone's not eating anything at dinner time. And so that's why I do the fast at night. Along with that, you have to go ahead and look at trying to have small meals. Now, small meals means you're not eating a lot at one point in time. Now, I have my problem is when I go off my fast, sometimes I eat too much. And I have to be careful of that. I don't feel too well. Oh, sorry about the bouncing back. So I try then to do the best that I can to kind of go back to eating small types of things at times. And I'm not talking about a huge amount of things. Also, I try to avoid mixing things. If I'm going to have some meat, have a little bit of meat here. I have a little bread, I'll have a little bread. I don't try to mix those together. I used to have hamburgers and all kinds of stuff all the time, and that mixing is not good for the digestive system. Now let's take a look at small meals. If you're gonna have a small meal, and you're just gonna have something where you're gonna have a you know a little bit of meat, you want that to go down the system. Now, part of what ends up happening when people get heavy, and I know this happened to me, is that I would be eating too quickly. You have to eat your slow uh, food slow and just you know kind of digest it, but let the food kind of go into your system. Which I would mean by that is that chew slowly. Don't cho- don't just swallow your food. Why that's the case is because when you swallow your food, all of a sudden the food kind of goes down your down your stomach, but it it goes down so quickly that your brain is not reacting to it fast enough and it doesn't realize that you should be full. By eating a little bit of food, what ends up happening is now you're sitting there and saying, okay, I'm still hungry because I haven't felt the effects of this food yet. That's why when you eat it slowly, all of a sudden you're still, you're going to get full faster in your mind and you won't be eating too much. That's why you want to take your time to eat slow Don't eat too fast and be able then to kind of enjoy the food you eat and then your body, your mind will tell you, okay, I've had enough to eat, I'm full. But if you swallow your food like we tend to do sometimes in our society, we eat fast, that's what's called fast food, right? And it's not good for us because what ends up happening is now we get full and now we don't feel, we feel like, you know, we, we eat more because we end up not realizing that we're full until after you know our brain kicks in. The other thing is you get very easily get into sugar addictions, all kinds of highs because of too much of that. And this is why we get a lot of problems with diabetes, diabetes and all kinds of other types of ailments because of too much of this bad food in our system. That's why it's always important to my fat is always detox at times. Kind of detox yourself from eating, exercising, doing these type of things to kind of get this food out of your system. The other part of the small meals is drink a lot of water. I always believe in drinking water at the beginning of the day and at night for sure. You should have a gallon of water a day, uh, but you should at least have water enough. And you have some water in the types of things you're drinking, but there's also a lot of sugars and things and some of the things that we drink as well. So be careful of not having too much of sugar, but also having enough water So you're able to go ahead and, um, you know, focus on the importance of that, um, you know, food you're having. 
the food will be enhanced by the water you have as well. And so that's why you can be able to eat that slower and not really have as much of a problem, okay? All right, so when we look at this, the key idea here, gang, is that you want to, once again, learn control. And this is, this is an area that I, honestly, I am still working on. Like I said, I come off a of fast, which is good, but then I eat too fast. And so I don't, I lose some of the gains I have because I'm eating too quickly, like we talked about. Here's a case where just like with the relapsing and all this stuff over the years, my mind tells me I know what I should be doing, but the control level is not there yet. And this is really where all these type of things come back into it. I'm becoming better, becoming more aware of it. And I think part of this is because I'm on a journey, I now can transfer some of these behaviors of control over to this idea of small meals. Having small meals, not eating too much at one setting, and realizing by chewing your food that you're full and you don't need to eat more. Walk away before you actually start eating too much. Now, once again, you know, this is not easy, and I'm certainly not an expert on this one. I can tell you what people say and what we should be doing, but I don't do it all the time either. So I, I mean, I'm not always be honest with you guys. I don't really do it either. So I'm trying the best I can, and I'm going to continue working on this one. This is one of my uh, weak areas. You know, uh, I have a few, of course, as we all do. But this is one of the areas of that I am weak, and I'm trying to kind of get better at trying to eat small meals. And, and I learned that from football, obviously. You know, I ate huge meals before games and things like that. Got to have it of eating large meals. This is a problem in the Western world, especially. You're not supposed to be eating huge meals. It not only drags you down the rest of the day, it makes you kind of want to take naps, which is not good, and you lose all kinds of energy. So along with all the gains you're making during your journey, what you want to do is kind of think of your think of your body as a, a Ferrari, right? A fancy car. You want to get it to the best gas possible. You want to go ahead and use the best gas so that you're actually going ahead and focusing on the best thing you can do. Okay. So the idea, guys, is that you want to go ahead and say yes, it's important. But the bottom line really is is that you want to make sure that you got the best thing you can within your within your um, system okay all right so enough of this idea but keep in mind that the food you eat is a big part of the success you're having when it comes to your journey you want to keep your energy again you want to nourish it you want to make sure it's strong enough and that day by day you're getting enough nutritional things you need to become that strong virile person you need, you need to have so eat slow eat small meals and and balance it out and have some control that you're doing this over a period of time. All right, enough of this video. Doing a bunch of them today. Uh, until next time, Warriors, battle on.